in what's thought to be a world first. Victoria is preparing to make a formal apology to the state's gay community for old laws that criminalised homosexual behaviour up until 1981. Tomorrow, Premier Daniel Andrews will say sorry on behalf of the parliament, witnessed by some of the men who were jailed simply for being gay. Karen Percy reports. Palladium presents Miss Shirley Bassey and I ran, shaking my head as I... During his 84 years, Noel Tovey has done many things. So I'm wearing evening trousers under there. On stages across the world, he was an actor, a dancer, a choreographer. In later years, he turned activist, pushing to have his conviction for homosexuality overturned. I made up the confession as I went along because I was told that I'd be able to go home if I signed it. Since September, gays and lesbians in Victoria have been able to apply to have their convictions expunged. Now the state government is saying sorry. The apology means more than the expungement. The apology means finally the government are recognising homosexuals as human beings. These men can feel freed really of the shackles of their past. They know that the government has acknowledged the harm that was caused. This is a good step in the Victorian government to... For young people, it's hard to even fathom such a past. So I actually didn't even realise that it was illegal. Like, it's because it's something that is... It's so bizarre. They fought for us, they've done heaps of stuff, they've even gone to jail, which I think is ridiculous. Only a small number of men have applied to have their convictions expunged, a sign perhaps that some are still having trouble dealing with the authorities that convicted them in the first place. It's hoped this apology will go some way to rebuilding trust. I'm hoping more people of my generation come out of the woodwork. Noel Tovey is also keen to ensure things are better for the next generation. They said to me, if, you were, if you'd gotten married, it would be different, but it's just I said, like, I can't well, we get can't. married. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> the fight isn't done yet, but the apology is being seen as an important step. Karen Percy, ABC News, Melbourne.